of what was done in your body. Yeah. Yeah. But every man and woman going to have to stand before a just judge. Yeah. Maybe the day you got somebody you can blame. But I promise you in judgment, right. you will not remember that name. Amen. Uh, amen, somebody. When, when you stand before the judge, he's going to say, kill and account of yourself. Right. And you got to be able to explain to God amen. why there were times I could have worshipped. Yeah. There were days when I could have come to church. Yeah. There were times when I could have lived oh, the life you called me to live. Oh, yes. But I simply chose yeah. not to. God, the living God, yeah. who delivered the, the children of Israel out of bondage, Amen. now set some parameters. Yeah. Now he says to them that when I have delivered you all right, all right. and brought you into the good land, yeah. God has promised them a land that uh, flowed with milk and honey. Yeah. Uh, a good land, a yeah. land where there was plenty enough. Amen. He said he was going to give them houses that they didn't build. Yeah. Oh, yes. Then God said they didn't plant. Amen, somebody. God says he was going all the way to give them the good life. Yeah. And this is what God said he was going to give to Amen. them. But in the promised land, there were already occupants. Yeah. Yes, yes, in the land of Canaan, it was already occupied. Oh, yeah, yeah. But God said he was going to give it to his children. Yeah. That's the reason, that's the very reason why when I'm expecting a blessing from God, I don't care who has it right now. Amen. I don't care who has to sign the paper. I don't care who has the authority to make the decision. If God says he's going to do something, God is going to do it. And what we must learn to do is trust God. Allow God to do what God does and you do what you do. When you get into the land of Canaan, uh -huh. 
Don't do the stuff <laughs> that you saw the people doing yes, in the land of Egypt. All right. yes, yes. And when you get in Canaan, don't do the stuff that you saw the Canaanites do. Yes. Yes. Their practices were pagan. Yes. Their practices were worshiping idol God. Yes. They had a God for everything. <laughs> You understand what? Oh, yeah. They have a God for the harvest. Uh -huh. A God for the sex. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. they, they have a God for everything. Yeah. And then it's in them and the children of God. Uh -huh. They have a different God for oh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. But the children of God have a God who can do everything. Glory. Right. Right. That was the same difference. I, yeah. I said they get crossed up trying to figure out yeah. which God to call. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I got one God who is able to be everything for me. I don't have a call in him. I don't have a living for him. I'm not living for somebody else. But I'm living for God. He said when you shut, when you come into the land of Canaan, after you have come out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Don't do the things that you see them Amen. doing. And I'm not surprised that God yes. told them don't do it. Because we live in a world of uh, full of copycats. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere you go, you see copycats. Yes. And I'm not afraid because some of our churches yes. Have just boiled down to being a house full of copycats. Right. You understand that? We know how uh -huh, to rattle off the tongues that somebody else spoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know how uh -huh, to preach like somebody else yeah. preached. Yeah. We know how to sing like somebody else sang. Uh -huh. We even wave our hands yeah. like those folks wave uh -huh. their hands. And I challenge you to seek the Lord for yourself. Amen. I challenge you to allow God to give you the spirit yeah. that gives you the utterance yeah. that enables you to speak in tongues yourself. Yeah. Why uh, somebody has spoken tongues for real yeah. a long time ago. Uh -huh. Somebody who was consecrated and dedicated Amen. to Amen. God. And uh, they really felt something yeah. down on the inside. Yeah. Somebody still here now saying what they heard them say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say what they say. <laughs> but I want to experience what oh, they yeah. experience. Yeah. And uh, if you really want to experience the joy yeah. of the Lord, yeah. you got to seek him uh, for yourself. Amen. Everybody's story is not going to be the same. Everybody's testimony is not going to be the same. But whatever God has done for you, then you ought to give God a praise. Whatever God has done for you, you ought to tell God, thank you for yourself. Wait for Sunday morning Amen. to tell God thank Amen. you. But all through the week, yeah. I tell the Lord okay. thank you. Yeah. I don't wait till I see you yeah. all before I tell God thank you. Amen. But when I get up in the morning, yeah. I get up and tell God thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. But let me see you another know day. Till church will come. Amen. And I'll tell him, thank you. Because yes. I know he's been good yes. to me. Yes. What God is telling Moses to tell Woo. the Israelites. Yes. You know where you come from. Yes. And you know how you got there. Yes. It wasn't by luck, y'all would say. Right. It. it wasn't by chance. Yes. And uh, you know you didn't bring yourself. Amen. But God brought him out yes, with a mighty and an outstretched yes, arm. Yes. He didn't live a damn yes. in a way uh, that could nobody do. 
Somebody else. I think I should tell you right now. 